Okay, guys, so we have here a wood round, one of the wood slices that I showed you from one of the hauls. And we have the very tiny beads. And my idea for this is to string the beads separated about an inch and a half apart around this wood round or wood slice and then gluing it down and then in the center you'll see it as it comes up and then gluing the word imagine in the middle as an inspirational piece and it didn't turn out the way that I wanted it to so after I did this I took it all apart and started all over again and you'll see that too but what you see here is is me just um, stringing the um, small bees on some jute twine only for me to redo everything but it's like that sometimes when you're crafting And if this is your first time visiting my channel, welcome. I am your girl, Joy Fuller, the chief crafter for the Joyful Design brand. So anytime you see any home decor from my company, Joyful Designs, then please note that it's from your girl. Also, if you have yet to subscribe to my channel please make sure that you click on the subscribe button and the notification bell that way YouTube will notify you each and every time I upload a video and also consider sharing my channel with your friends and your family your enemies anyone that can benefit from learning how to create home decor on a budget using affordable items and as you can see I am out of frame I do apologize for that I wasn't thinking I was just in the zone crafting and not even realizing that I was still recording Nevertheless, I wanted to show you the good, the bad, and the ugly side of um, DIYing and doing videos. And as you can see, I was just putting a dab of glue down so that I could actually um, glue the bead in place so that it wouldn't move while I placed it around this wood slice. If you have yet to watch my video of a big haul that I did with Timu, michaels hobby lobby and of course dollar tree please make sure you go check out that video it is a video that is a combination of all the stores i however will be uploading the individual hauls to my channel that way you can watch them at your own leisure And what you can't tell here is that I'm actually aligning the bees up. I mean, I really, really took time doing this.
How is your Tuesday going, guys? Now I just realized, can you see? <laughs> I just realized that I was out of frame. And now I'm trying to get you at a good angle to see what I'm doing. It doesn't look bad, but it's just not what I was going for. It didn't turn out the way it was pictured in my head. Pray for me and my husband because we have a child that is actually going through driver's ed right now. Let me tell you, he is the baby of the bunch. So that's what we're doing this week. As you can see, I am burning the little phrase off the jute twine and I am tying it in a knot. And if you like this look, feel free to stop here. I did add a bow to it in the space where I am tying the knot. And I was trying to do a bow. But the twine was just too small for my short fat fingers. And all I'm making is a shoestring bow. Again, if this is your first time stumbling across my channel, welcome. And again, I am Joy Fuller, the chief crafter for the Joyful Designs brand. And I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel and make sure you turn on the notification bell. I create beautiful home decor using affordable products. As you can see here, I made the shoestring bow. I put it right there on top of that knot and I just didn't care for it. And now I am using up the Rust-Oleum chalk paint in white. And I have my brush here. And I am going to distress the word imagine with the white chalk paint. And I will be dry brushing over the beads as well are you guys experiencing a heat wave it seems like here in North Carolina 
it has really, really been a scorcher. The area I live, I think when I took my daughter to work, it read about 97. Okay, guys, as you can see, the screen has switched and I decided that I didn't like the look. So what I did was got some jute rope from the Dollar Tree. And if you saw my haul, again, you would have saw this rope. And I just decided to wrap the rope around the perimeter of the wood slice making sure that I pressed up against the rope to give it a closed but tight um, and secure fit Another option is to wrap a small circular rope in the middle of anything that you're going to rope, like a tray or a plate or, you know, in this case, this wood slice, and then just wrap around from the middle. That way you won't have to fit it in the hole like I'm doing right here. Nevertheless, we're going to get it done. We're almost there, guys. If you have yet to subscribe to my channel, please make sure you click on the subscribe button. And don't forget about the notification bell. And also leave me a comment about whether you would have left it with the word imagine in the center with the B's and or when you see the end, if you prefer the end. If you're not following me on my TikTok channel or my Facebook channel, please make sure you go and follow me there. You can find me on those social media forms at Joyful Designs with a Z, just as you have found me here on YouTube. And then on Instagram, I am Joy underscore Designs with a Z. So, hey, come on and join me over there as well. Now you see me burning off the phrase from the rope to give it a darker but cleaner look. And I didn't use any uh, painter's tape to section this off. I just looked at it and... I am just now taking the remainder of the Rust-Oleum paint and you already know the story behind that Rust-Oleum paint. I, again, I don't remember if it was purchased at Amazon or from Walmart. Nevertheless, it doesn't matter. It's doing what it's got to do to get this project done and I'm basically making this a two-toned rope decor using the white rust-oleum paint so half will be in the white rust-oleum paint and the other half will be left in the rope the brownness of the rope and once I finish this guys this is going to be the last of this paint 
this has lasted over a year. So now it's time to purchase some more and I will let you know where I purchased it from. I think this is cute just by itself without adding anything else to it. Just a two-tone. But I wanted to use that word imagine and I am going to use it. And I'm just making sure that I get every brown piece of that rope in this half painted. Again, thank you all for taking the time out of your busy schedules and choosing to watch my videos and show your support to your girl. I really appreciate it. And now you see me getting ready to add some more paint to the word imagine. And I am going to center it on this wood slice. And as you can see, I'm painting each of the letters and the tops of the letters. And if you're still here with me, type in the comment section the word imagine. If you can see it, believe it, then you can achieve it. That's all a dream is, right? Something that you've imagined. So you take that imagination and you move forward into making it come into fruition. And with this placement also, guys, you can choose to, if you want the top to be the white por portion of the wood slice. You can just turn the rope around and staple it or glue it on the other end. I just left it like that so I wouldn't have to manipulate the rope at all, the hanger that's on this wood slice. Because again, this came to me at the last minute and it was visually appealing to me, so. I decided to just leave it just like this. I did saturate this rope with the paint. So it's taken a minute to dry it. I mean, it dried it fast, but still, there were still portions of it that were still kind of wet at the base of the wood slice. And now in the center where I had to press the rope down, 
it had like a little bump in the center and it gave the word imagine a raised appearance which kind of worked usually i would have fixed that but in this case i thought oh, this is working and now i'm just seeing how some flowers would look around the word And it would have looked cute. However, it was getting late. And again, unless it captures my eye immediately, I will change it. And because I had to get up and go to work, I had to get done with this project. Again, if you have yet to see the huge haul that I just uploaded, Please make sure you check out that video and while you at it, binge watch all of my videos. You won't be disappointed. And now I just cut a piece of the petals off of the floral and put it in the middle I think it's over the G And so now I have one of those floral die cutouts. I am painting it white and putting it at the top of this wood slice just to embellish it a little more. I didn't want to keep the stem and now I'm just adding glue to the back. This is just something that I had in my head and that actually I feel like worked better than the way I had initially started out. And I did want to leave that in the video so that you can see that you can change your mind. You can change your creations and sometimes it's for the better and then other times Maybe not, but in this case, tell me what you think. I think it turned out cute. Wait till you see the still picture. And as always, guys, I always want to say thank you for your support. Thank you for subscribing to my channel. It really helps my channel to grow. And I enjoy bringing affordable DIYs to you guys. And if there's any content that you would like to see, please let me know. I will be uploading some dupes soon. But until then, have a great day. Have a great week. Bye, guys.